to the March 2nd edition of the Muskie Daily. Tonight features both the men's and women's lacrosse teams 2017 seasons, a behind the scenes look at the upcoming senior art exhibit and has only, only a one minute review. Stay tuned for all of that and more right here on Orbit Media's Muskie Daily. only one month until the annual senior art exhibit take a look at what goes into the preparation you probably know that to graduate from a skingham as an art major you need to display your best artwork in the annual senior art exhibit what you may not know is what goes on behind the scenes according to senior and art major hallie gay this entails a little more than just digging out your work and hauling it to the gallery we have to set up the whole gallery um, figure out how, what the reception is going to have um, we have to, if we have paintings or drawings, we have to get those framed. Students have all the power when deciding which work to display. If it's sloppy or it has uh, not straight lines, if they're supposed to be straight lines, then I, I won't put that in. Um, it's more of just a, my own self-evaluation, um, figuring out, is this good, is this not good? Uh, a couple of my pieces from previous years I, I will put in because I've grown as an artist. With the exhibit opening only a month away, students hurry to finish any work as well as play in the reception, which will be held in the Louis Palmer Art Gallery on April 9th from 1 to 3 p.m. The most stressful thing is probably um, figuring out uh, when I have time to make the, the pieces, which I made me all um, three-dimensional ceramics work, which takes time. The exhibit will be open from April 3rd to May 2nd. Anyone can go check it out. For Orbit Media News, I'm Kate Morgan. The Muskingum University men's lacrosse team played their first game of the season last night under the, under the lights of McConaughey Stadium. The game was part of a conjoined effort with the women's team to raise awareness for domestic abuse for the One Love Foundation. Entering their third season at Muskingum University, the men's lacrosse team is looking to improve on the last two seasons. After going 2-12 and last year and 3-11 and the year before, the Muskies are looking for more wins, including a few in conference play, for this coming season. Everybody's working for a common goal. We want to make the conference playoffs for the first time. We want to beat a conference opponent for the first time. And I think for us to do that, we just got to continue on the path that we're on. And, you know, hopefully we'll have some more success this season. Along with the addition of some new players and the loss of a few others, the team has a group of pretty strong returners that benefit the team. I think we got a good group of guys. Uh, you know, down low, I think Zach Kern's going to do a pretty good job. Uh, pretty excited about Tucker Haas up top. Kyle Baker's doing a really good job. Um, you know, Phil Dappen, who was a uh, all-conference player last year, he's back in that for us. He's doing a great job. You know, so. Owen, Rudy, you know, we, we got a bunch of guys back who, who've just been working hard and they're, and they're doing their jobs and, and we're pretty excited about that. The Muskies return to action on Tuesday, March 7th at Seal. The game is set to start at 1 p.m. For Orbit Media News, I'm Ashley Adams. With Logan releasing the weekend of March 3rd, Matt and Aaron take a look at the latest trailer for this one minute review. Serious feels again on this one minute review. Yeah, we have the second Logan trailer. And it looks fantastic. Just like the last one. Just like the last um, one. The only thing that's a little different now is that uh, I didn't cry this time yeah. around. But, you know, that's literally bloody great action yeah. in this trailer. And we got a lot more insight into the girl's character. Mm -hmm. um, she is obviously a lot more like Wolverine than we originally thought. Mm -hmm. So maybe, you know, he's, I think Logan's definitely going to be like a mentor to the little girl. 50-50 mm -hmm. on whether or not Logan survives this movie, though. <laughs> yeah, he gets, he, he looks like he gets pretty beaten up towards the yeah. end of it. Just some government officials trying to, you know, pin, you know pinpoint each individual uh, mutant that's still out there. Yeah. And... Now they've kind of targeted Logan, and now he's like, uh-oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, well, actually, the little girl. Yeah. The way this movie looks like, it's going to be an emotional, crazy thrill ride. Yeah. A very satisfying ending to the current X-Men arc. Yeah, you got to say, um, this is definitely, it feels like this is the conclusion to the X-Men franchise. 
storyline. For sure. As it is now. Yeah, yeah. for 17 years in the yeah. making, 17, 18 years. And only one man has played Wolverine. Logan comes out on March 3rd, and once again, we will be there. Yes, we will. Absolutely. All right, well, thank you guys for tuning in once again. This has been One in Review. See you next time. Muskie women's lacrosse came away with a nail-biting victory over Franciscan in the home opener Wednesday, 13 to 12. Ashley Adams, Kaylee Norbert, and Katie Magary all had three goals in the contest, with Adams scoring the game winner with just 24 seconds left to play. The win brings the Muskies to two and one on the season. Muskie men's lacrosse began their season with some late game heroics coming from behind to beat Hiram. 11-10 in overtime. Tucker Haas led the men with three goals in the game while Jake Stewart came away with the game winner in overtime on a shot while falling to the turf. The win brings the Muskies to 1-0 to start their season. Signing off for this edition of the Muskie Daily, catch past episodes on our YouTube channel, Orbit Media TV. You can also find other Orbit Media productions, including men's and women's basketball games from this season. Tune in next week for more local news and musky events on the Musky Daily. Good night.